Welcome to my channel, today I will be fixing BMW control buttons. As you can see most of the buttons are broken and some of them don't work so I will be tearing it down and also replacing the buttons. For the tear down you only need a flathead screwdriver. There are no screws but rather clips that hold the unit head to the housing. There are 4 clips on each side of the unit and to remove them you need to place the flathead between the plastic and start to unclip. There are also plastic rail between the clips, you don't need to do anything whilst removing the unit, however when closing it back on, make sure that you slot the unit to its rail. Now separate the unit and the housing and place it out your way as the buttons have nothing to do with what you are going to do. Now you would also need to remove the unit frame and the control board and to remove them you also need to unclip the control boards the same way you just removed the unit and the housing however this time you could unclip them by hand. There are 5 clips on each side. If you are having a hard time removing the clips place an additional flathead between the control board and the unit and carry on removing the rest of the clips. Using a flathead separate the circuit board and the frame but make sure you are using the flathead on the metal part of the circuit board and not the circuit itself. Once you are dismantling the unit you will see many pins, those pins get out from its position causing the buttons to not work. Get this part of the pin and place it in its slot however make sure you are doing this step on a table as the pins will flick if the frame is not steady. To remove the button push the button from the inside and it will pop out. You can remove the button from the frame side however that will cause scratches to your frame. To put the new buttons there are two slots at the top, they always go at the top of the frame and only one at the bottom. Now all you need to do is place the button to its slot and then using a flathead slightly expand the frame so the bottom clip goes to its slot. Once you've replaced the buttons and put the pins back on, start to put the circuit board, however you need to be very slow and delicate so the pins won't flick, otherwise you will have to place the pins again and it's a headache. Expand the plastic using a flathead and slowly push the circuit board. Don't lift the frame until you feel that the frame and the circuit board is thoroughly joined with the frame, so that the pins are unable to move. Now that the pins are sandwiched, you can lift the unit and start to clip the clips. Just give it a check to see if all the buttons are clicking and the pins are in position. Now start to put the housing to the unit but make sure the pins are in its position and does not bend. Thank you for watching, if you did like the video please make sure to comment, like and subscribe.